ان دین اخلاقیات کریکٹر کنڈکٹ خلق من از یو نو دس دا پروفی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از ٹولڈ اس دس ہم سیلف سو ون از سچ اے گریٹ تھنگ اخلاق اینڈ ان اخلاق دا بگیسٹ اسٹیٹس یو کین سی لیول گریڈ از ٹو مینڈ دا ٹائز سی سبحان اللہ ٹو مینٹین دا ٹائز یس سی سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ ود اللہ از پریز آئی فریش یو اینڈ آئی آلسو بیکم ریفریشڈ اینڈ فریش so that we can understand and I can also explain to you. So are you paying attention to what I'm saying? Yes, you are tired, but listen. Allah Ta'ala has given us an opportunity. When will we meet again? There's only two weeks left. Allah Ta'ala is allowing us to hear. Allah is enabling. So let's hear. May Allah Ta'ala give us the understanding. So, if we think now and consider, what's the most important thing? Mending the ties, maining the ties. And what's the highest level in this aspect, in mending and maintaining those, which is the root, which is the foundation of all of this subject, the key point. What is that? The husband and wife. Say subhanallah. The husband and wife. If the husband and wife weren't present, you wouldn't be here either, would you? Would you be present? So the husband and wife in society is the most important, important sector, factor. The whole deen society is made from the husband and the wife. Even the wedding, marriage, consider like Ramadan, getting married isn't just this, oh, we're married now, and uh, our nafsiyati, nafsiyati our passions, desires, we can fulfill them. No, in the Quran it's been prohibited. The objective of getting married is that you have the partner, the woman is the partner, the woman has the man as the partner, that you in this, through this marriage, you, those ni'mas, the treasures that Allah Ta'ala has given, attain them that Allah Ta'ala has given to you. And that is the children, awlad, that's it. Yes, so it's not for nafs desires, fulfilling the passions and the desires for enjoyment. This is not what this relationship is for. Remember this point. Now, the verse of the Qur'an, we won't recite it now. But, uh, so, this is a very important relationship. Very important relationship. Everything that a man is, a person is, a human being is, it is due to the tarbiyah of the mother, from the womb of the mother, the lap of the mother, wali kutub ghaus, qayyum, all of these, they are enabled through the, the lap of the womb of the mother, thieves, bandits, Robbers, they all come from the mother and the father. The tarbiyah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the lap of the mother, in the love of the father, in both. In the lap of the mother, in the hold of the mother, in the love of the father, Allah has instilled such an element that the child, if the tarbiyah is done correctly by the lap and the womb of the mother, by the, the hold of the mother and the love of the father, even the love of the father spoils the children. The love of the father, when it's spoiled, then the child gets spoiled. The mother's love, when that is spoiled, then the child gets spoiled. So if you hold, take both of these to the wrong side, oh no, no, it's okay, oh, it's for the sake of the child. Wrong love and correct love, you can take the measurement there, that if your child is following the straight path, since when? Since when the child was born. From Adhan, and not all when the child grows up, then we'll give Tarbiya. No, 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 no. At that time when there's no understanding, there is understanding. So, do you understand what I'm saying? Even, even when they, we think there's no understanding, there is understanding. Science, press, the child grips everything, it catches everything, absorbs everything. When the mother and father fight, quarrel, the child absorbs this, catches the moods, catches the swearing and the arguments. We think, though afterwards they will realize, no, no, it becomes at that time that... That, for example, once your actions, what you do, the child is made. What is what you are, your nature, what you do in front of the child. That's why I stated, the pious elders have stated, that time when you get married, then the man should totally change. That's it. Because now big responsibility is coming onto him. After a few months, Allah Ta'ala will give him something, and then that's it. He's, it's a different direction. If he doesn't change his direction before marriage, whatever he was, whatever she was, but after marriage... If he's not corrected, improved, refined, he's not spoiling himself. Rather, 
he, that, that generation to come is destroying that and then we have to give the hisab to Allah. So you understand the import- big importance of this relationship. The husband and the wife, the relationship. Now this relationship, if it's strong, and alhamdulillah, in this if Allah instills barakah and blessings, and if the success comes through this relationship, then subhanallah. The whole of the subject of maintaining the ties comes through this relationship. The ma'ashara, the society is made. The ma'ashara, the whole of the society is made. Not just the home, not just the family. How? That the tarbiyah, that the child is given, that the child and the, the son and the daughter, whatever the daughter attains from the company of the mother, when she goes and gets married, then she will also exhibit the same with the husband. Yes, so when the daughter leaves home, then her house is the sample. The house she goes and lives in is the sample of the house she's come from. Then she does the tarbiyah of her children, just like the father's love and the, and the lap and the company of the mother that gave to her. Big effect of the child. It's transparent within the child, within the daughter. When she gets married and moves, the adat, the habits, they transfer. Yes, everyone has desires. Oh, I want to make my child a half face. I want to make my daughter this. I want to do that. But this is not the case. First, you have to change yourself. You have to improve yourself. And in that house where there are arguments and fights and quarrels, then there's the destruction is there. But then the children go towards destruction. Yes, they become mentally patients, patients, affected. They leave the deen. They go against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They go away from Allah. And all of the fault is lying with who? On that couple. And the answer, when that child will be presented in front of Allah, though you used to say dirty things, you'll say, ah, what can I do? I couldn't help it. My mother and father, they taught me this. They did, didn't do my tarbiyah. So all the sin then goes on the head of the parents. So you'll say that what has this got to Ramadan, so Ramadan, this is the thawab of iftar, etc. But my style is a little bit different. Subhanallah. Everybody knows this. How much thawab is there in iftari time and angels this? And I'll tell you the real angel that, that what relationship does Ramadan have with the relationship of the husband and wife? I'll tell you that today. I was reading Surah Baqarah. Subhanallah. In Surah Baqarah, when I got there, I got to this verse, then I stopped. And today this is, after Juma, I stopped, I said, Ooh, this, this is a very valuable verse. So this is coming in the light of Ramadan. We've never thought about Ramadan and the relationship, so I thought about it, pondered about it. I'm, I'm sharing that with you, presenting it to you. So the verse is long. I'll recite it if I make a mistake, then please correct it, because I'm not a Hafiz. If, if you like it, maybe I'll recite it correctly, maybe if I, if I can remember. So now... With Ramadan, what link does this have with Ramadan, the husband and wife relationship? That I'm telling you, must be some relationship with it, isn't it? That's why I'm speaking about it. So it's so valuable this relationship that Allah Taala. What does He say in the Quran? Think. The verse starts like this. Allah says, "I've made for you halal when, Subhanallah, in Ramadan, in the nights of Ramadan." Subhan uhilla lakum. Yani everything that Allah Ta'ala had stopped, Allah says that what is Allah saying, especially Allah Ta'ala is explaining the uhilla lakum. Laylatul Sayyam. Such a valuable night, Allah Ta'ala says, that I make something halal for you at that time. Halal. Listen. What is Allah making halal? The, what is Allah Ta'ala saying? No, this is halal. Allah says, this you can do. Most definitely, that if Allah Ta'ala is making something halal, then behind that there must be a big history. What is it Allah Ta'ala is making halal? And that's also in the night. And that is in the night of Ramadan, which in that comes Laylatul Qadr. Everything is valuable. All the moments are valuable. The, the nights of Ramadan are valuable. Subhanallah. Ajeeb, unique. So what's Allah Ta'ala making halal? أُحِلَّ لَكُمْ Then Allah says, what I'm explaining to you, and the word that comes here, Allahu Akbar, أُحِلَّ لَكُمْ لَيْلَةَ الصِّيَامِ أَرَّفَثُ إِلَى نِسَائِكُمْ I'm making halal for you that you can go to your wife without the hijab, without the barrier. In the, the nights of ibadah, valuable nights, 
Allah Ta'ala says that beware, don't go, you don't carry out the action, stay on the prayer mat. But no, what is Allah Ta'ala saying? That you can go to your wife, lawful for you to go unto your wives, it's halal for you during the night. So there's a hikmah, what's the hikmah Allah Ta'ala has kept here? That this is such a great relationship that for the strength of this relationship, Allah Ta'ala has given 30 days, don't stay detached from her. So during the day, if you were to stay detached for 30 days, that fitna was to be created and there'll be a, a weakness in the relationship. This love is so important, so important that during the nights also you have to keep it existent. Subhanallah.